Good evening guys nothingware.com and we have Asus new transformer book T100T. Now it's one of Asus value for money 10 inch Windows 8.1 Atom powered convertible tablet or laptop or netbook whatever you want to call it so in this video we're gonna quickly show you what's in the box we've already unboxed it by the way then I'm gonna give you a tour of the hardware both the tablet when it's detached uh, you can call it tablet and then the brilliant keyboard and then we're gonna uh, talk about the UI Windows 8.1 certainly not a mystery anymore and then we're gonna talk about the performance and at last the verdict now this guy, uh, we have the 32 GB version, you also get the 64 GB version by the way. Now this 32 GB version in India on Flipkart cost about 30,000 Indian rupees. The same thing in US on Amazon.com cost about $299 and then for about $380 you would get the 64 GB version. That's incredibly priced gadget, I'm telling you and um, I'm going to tell you why this guy can be a really really good companion while you're traveling traveling light now let's check out the box first you've already seen the device kind of here now there's not much information on all side you can see the model number that's it no pricing information no quick stats around there but I'm gonna tell you it's it's powered by uh, Atom Bay Trail and first thing we're gonna check out the device now there you see that's the 10.1 inch tablet plus the attached keyboard and when we open this there you see yeah they're gonna come back to the device a little later but there's not much else in the box you have a USB micro USB 2.0 port and then your USB wall adapter which is not Indian uh, style you see it's US and Europe style you have flat pin that's pretty much about it no manual nothing or maybe our review unit does not contain it so that's pretty much about it let's come to the device now it's very very glossy plastic shit it's actually looks and feels very very plastic you know whenever you hit it but um, I guess I would take it for $299 only well now when I talk about the hardware I'm gonna first talk about uh, them combined and then I'm gonna talk about the tablet separately and then the keyboard separately now combined they weigh about one kilo the tablet weighs about 550 grams and the keyboard about 520 grams the tablet is not very thin it's about 10.5 m thick all plastic in fact very glossy plastic it will attract a lot of fingerprints the same goes for the screen it attracts a lot of fingerprints here but then the keyboard here has a very nice brushed metal essence that feels very very premium and the keys are just wow but we'll come back to it just in a bit yeah so that's thick kind of you know sticks out looks ugly here this part is also matte, feels very very plasticky and almost hollow. You have this nice um, rubber legs that kind of keeps the tablet or the laptop still. There you see it does not slip much which is again another good thing. Now that's the max the tablet would go which is about the max that you would need anyway. You would not need a 180 degree flat and now uh, that won't be possible uh, in this kind of a convertible because you need the tablet you need the keyboard to really really hold the tablet because you do not have the hinges on the end here you have the hinges here and I'm gonna show you the hinges this is the latch uh, just press this and the tablet comes out very very conveniently you have those you know contact points with the um, uh, you know this like I mean they go in here and hold the tablet in place now let's talk about the tablet first 10.1 inch tablet very very glossy surface um, you have an IPS display then the front camera here I guess it's about 1.2 MP yeah 1.2 MP front camera your Windows button the same button is also situated here I mean functional wise so both this and this button will switch between your lifestyle and um, 
desktop mode and then you have your volume rocker here again even the switches feel very very plasticky and loose you see you can almost hear the sound so below that I told you the contact point with the keyboard and then this guys go in here to hold the tablet upright here you have your 3.5 mm jack and then your mini HDMI port micro HDMI uh, you may call it and then your micro USB port for charging and then your micro SD card slot here no sim card slot mind you your noise cancelling mic and then the power button here which with the uh, CPU or power indicator here you know, behind you have although it's very glossy but then you have a kind of nice you know fingerprint like texture concentric circle originating from the center kind of looks good but then attracts a lot of fingerprints as one of my problems and it's also a widescreen version so you have 16 by 9 ratio not like the iPad so it would be great for uh, widescreen movie viewing but not so great for reading magazines because uh, you know what will happen the magazines would kind of stuck on the broad side here and there will be a lot of space left here and here yeah but looks fairly premium for the price and then let's come to the keyboard here you see one two three four five six rows keyboard that's the ledge the contact uh, the contact point here those and this kind of it's very very tight and secure see and you really have to put a lot of pressure to actually merge them from here and there then you have very nice brush metal look although this is I think this is plastic this also could be thin aluminium uh, yeah, this is aluminium this is aluminium yeah and then you have nicely demarcated those your mouse buttons and they are not very user friendly they kind of again feels very hollow and kind of goes to cut to cut and not very very smooth uh, the touchpad is a uh, well okay size um, it supports all the gesture and everything the keys give out of this world haptic feedback they are so good they are some of the best keys I've ever experienced they are wide enough I just find the keyboard just a little narrow um, you know on the top about the probably they could have utilized some of these parts as well um, at times but I guess that's fine they stretch almost to the border on the left or right which is a good thing you have this uh, you know a rubber sticking out so that the um, keys do not hurt the tablet surface the display here so you can have a look at the keys I'm gonna go to all those keys again the windows button so you have actually three dedicated buttons uh, to switch between the desktop and the lifestyle mode that's insane and certainly not necessary your um, right click menu there so overall a very very good keyboard I absolutely like the keyboard here and both these at 299 it's really really a steal I like the build quality also although it's hollow but then uh, I mean it feels hollow when you um, tap it there but then when you hold it kind of well it it, it looks quite solid yeah of course it has to be plastic because it's a value for money or affordable uh, convertible is what you call and you would not want those carbon fiber shit for like thousand twelve hundred dollars for two ninety nine dollars I guess I would any day get this this is a beauty yeah so that's how the T 100 T looks when opened up completely now you cannot go uh, beyond this you can of course take this off and use it as a standalone tablet now this guy is powered by windows 8.1 it has a 10.1 inch diagonal screen ips display 1366 by 760 that's just about hd resolution although it can play uh, full hd files pretty easily the problem is the brightness is pretty low um about 210 nit however uh, i did not find much problem with that now if you go and see a screen that's the brightness which is pretty fine you can also see the lower one even here you can actually 
see the screen a bit so you're gonna keep it at half so for me brightness is not a problem but if you're probably uh, reading very uh, small um, letters or probably you're watching a movie which this screen is meant for because it's a wide screen those night scenes the blacks are not exactly very very dark and also uh, the viewing angles are fine but then it's very reflective because the screen is glossy so um, if you like you know stress the viewing angle a bit the reflection might take over and you might not be able to view or enjoy your videos completely let's check out some of the photos out here now that's a site now when you go here and you try to read this it actually looks pretty okay if I bring it closer I see fine pinching zoom and all are supported all these things fine and even from here the wing angle is proper there is not much of a problem with the yeah the rotation also works fine and fairly fast I'm gonna concentrate on the display alone yeah now so there's the display on a closer look it's a uh, fair display actually more than um, decent now for $299 or for about 30,000 you don't get a better display than this you have your lifestyles here uh, lifestyles and then all the apps now 8.1 brought this app menu right below the lifestyles menu here and then uh, but then I was wrong when I told that this window key here actually switches between home um, desktop mode and lifestyle mode no so you have only two button one is here and then one is here yeah so and then of course this one the new button that windows 8.1 has so we'll go back to the lifestyle mode and show you some of the apps here so you have the usual apps and you also have microsoft office of uh, student home and student edition year 2013 which is a very good thing and you have asus some apps like web storage and they'll say i online and you have a reading list that um reading list as in i mean it uh, optimizes the screen for reading text for a long time you can have a look at the apps 3d mark of course we have installed um, adobe creative cloud we've installed but you have these others pretty much pre-installed adobe reader and you have a few games um asphalt 80 hours you have few games like agent um, B and Chris Tree, my God, Chris Tree. Are you serious? Drift Mania and uh, Fruit Ninja is ours. Some of the games are ours to test. And you, there you see Microsoft Office. You also have Xbox and Reader and Pinball and whatnot. Asus. You have live update on screen display. You have reading mode. I was talking about Emmanuel, Win Flash, and monitor test is ours. I'm going to show you the test results in a bit yeah so uh, that's pretty much about it uh, nothing much except the Microsoft Office version really now uh, when you drag it from here you see the usual sidebar you have star share you can go ahead and search and then your settings I've shown you the brightness settings here that's the volume the Wi-Fi uh, single antenna it also supports Bluetooth 4.0 oh, by the way and let's check out the PC details now you have this and then your PC info the uh, Intel Atom Z3740 1.33 gigahertz but then it supports um, you know boost overclocking up to 1.88 gigahertz which is good it's a quad core processor 2 GB RAM so uh, it's not your typical underpowered Atom processor it's a good enough processor to be able to run uh, some of pretty demanding x86 software like let's say Photoshop oh and by the way this is not the RT version this is the full version so you'll be able to run your x86 softwares like Photoshop or Premiere Elements or um, you know uh, I mean, even your desktop games but do not take much chance with the desktop games like for example Titanfall and you'd be uh, you know, embarrassing yourself because even though it's powered by a desktop grade fairly desktop grade Intel Atom CPU but then it's less than half powerful than your 
um, usual core i5 processor that comes with most of the desktops these days desktop meaning um, notebook laptops as well not convertibles the laptops full-blown laptops as well it's of course 32 bit not 64 bit so only use your 32 bit software then has an Intel HD integrated graphics card which actually performs pretty well now those are about it so you have your accounts and stuff yeah now coming back to our desktop there you see Dex that's the desktop mode and I'm gonna show you a bit of the display reading now we have your our uh, pass mark so that's the monitor reading now you see because it's a wide screen you can see these these oval uh, these are main, uh, meant for 4x3 display so in 4x3 they would look almost perfectly round but because it's 16 by 9 you'd see those oval shape but otherwise they look good this center is perfectly round which is again good you can see the single line here the single texture which means that the display is not broken anywhere but that of course it's a new device a review device so uh, we don't know maybe after uh, six months of usage one year of usage this might appear but um, unfortunately we don't keep to uh, we don't get to keep the review devices for that long here you can see the colors are pretty good you can there are no smearing here towards the uh, black or white that again shows that it renders the color pretty perfectly the pixels do not leak the colors or do not smear the colors to other pictures even our grayscale you can look all the boundaries here pretty clear, clearly which is again a good thing here though you see that's because of the low resolution uh, of the screen you can you can of course see the lines here but then they are kind of uh, grayish and not totally dark and all and you know you have to really uh, really look hard on that so the crisper the screen is the easier those lines appear uh, to your eyes these are of course because so those are one pixel differences two pixel three and four these are of course there's no problem even here there's no problem but then here you need to stress your eyes a bit yeah so that's so um all in all a fairly good display even though only um you know less than 300 nit brightness but then looks pretty good to me hmm? and then hard pc settings that i showed you before you can search everywhere you can search your settings and files and other stuff yeah now skydrive is your default account yeah let's go to the live tile again and there's your skype drive and you of course have skype and other things yeah photos and all usual stuff then what else yeah so we tried running photoshop cc version here and premiere elements they run photoshop runs pretty nicely and you can do the basic task not uh, a, a too demanding i mean you cannot have like uh, you know 100 layers and then work on those it will obviously eat up the memory although it's ddr3 memory but only 2 mb of um, cache memory and uh, but then premiere elements this guy really really struggles and this guy is gonna struggle in most of desktop grade video editing software because they are quite demanding the atom processor here is not exactly equipped to handle those you would need a core i5 at least we tried playing some game like the fruit ninja and it plays fairly okay you see because of the low resolution the fruit suddenly becomes gigantic and the fairly fast no lag no significant lag and this is a testimony of how well this hinge holds the tablet because I'm putting my finger pressures there, cutting the fruit, but it's not budging a bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, so easy this. But then try gaming demand like the Asphalt 8 here, and you see it plays it pretty nice, but with us um, with slight lag. Now we're gonna see if it lags real racing as well looks pretty okay mm -hmm. 
I probably add the rotation keys. not very laggy it's fine reacts to my fingers pretty quickly yeah pretty cool animations and all so although there is slight lag but not very significant it will play um, you know much smoother if you play it in the tablet mode of course I'm not doing justice to the game by playing it only with one finger I'm just showing you the response to my finger it's pretty cool yeah there is lag I don't know if you can observe this or not there is lag but then only in significant so the atom processor is being able to handle the game pretty darn nicely although there are significant lag during animations This is satisfactory gaming performance. Let's go back. Well, it also fared uh, relatively well in our benchmark um, scores. We run a PC mark here and then 3D mark and some other. Uh, benchmarking tools so perform pretty well so overall at $299 or about 30,000 including the keyboard here by the way and the keyboard does not have a battery installed like your high-end um, Asus transformers or high-end Asus uh, convertibles you get a uh, full-size HDMI um, full-size uh, USB 3.0 port though here also supports a mini HDMI but then um, that's about it so this keyboard is more like a keyboard for your tablet you know with a dock here now um, this keyboard does not hold any brains other than that and uh, at 299 or 30,000 this one to me seriously looks like a steel it has a uh, pretty good display although not very very crisp plays the games perfectly and will run most of your um, even heavy x86 software in basic modes pretty nicely uh, most of your video games well not the new age ones but then uh, those little older like um, let's say Call of Duty and uh, you know Call of Duty older games like Modern Warfare and stuff the Tomb Raiders uh, quite nicely in low settings but um, of course not in high settings because the Atom can handle it so the Atom performs relatively well here and for the price I say the Transformer Book T100T I would get one